Well, as you know, I'm an illustrator. I started about eight years ago. Me and Duncan, me and, me and Mr. Jago working in a um, telemarketing place. We had these tele terrible telephone jobs. We sat opposite each other, with about four feet between us over these tables. With computers like attached to these telephones. After doing that for like eight months, I had a pile of drawings. Me and him drew, doodle doodle, passed it to each other, made each other laugh. But he started to get more of an illustration career. He was working for him, he was doing record sleeves and stuff, and that was quite inspiring. I was thinking, well, maybe I can do it. So I was living in Bristol at the time. Started going up to London and visiting like design companies and then just sort of got some work. I didn't really draw or paint at college, I just made videos and they were pretty, pretty bad. So I couldn't get a job afterwards. A few years after that, I started painting. We do live painting, things like that, so we can work like that together, me and Will, it's just easy, it's the same sort of thing. So we've kind of learned to paint by, you know, not, not sort of locking ourselves in a room and just, hasn't been a case of just sitting down and just sort of learning to paint. The first time I sold a painting was in Bristol. A friend uh, had a little clothes store and they had a window space, it's, they share it with a record store, so it had this corner window. And they started putting artwork in there and he asked me to do canvases and I hadn't done them before. So it's kind of like, learning how to use acrylic and I did three and I sold them all in the, in the week. I think I sold them for like 200 pounds each and I was just stoked, I couldn't believe it. I'm pretty into like vehicles and stuff and bikes and I've always loved that sort of thing so they're kind of like Tron, so there's kind of a Tron influence in those and also I mean I just wanted to have a go at doing something with those where they were kind of as a digital, like a sort of element of it, of it is kind of designed on the computer. So there's one really sort of defined bit and then it, then it just kind of goes loose. Um, but then for the other characters, I mean, they just like, they sort of make it up as I go along and then as they're sort of being drawn, because, because I'm sitting there drawing it, I kind of think of a story for them. It's kind of like the fantasy sort of thing, but they're doing something normal, you know, like a mundane kind of element, you know, of life. Anything with colour and, and line, you can kind of just absorb it. Cartoons, Transformers, that type of thing, manga, was quite a heavy influence. They all look male, all my characters look male, that's not consciously, it's just because it's fun and easy to do. Um, yeah, I'm always surprised, it, it's, it's good to hear what other people think, but I, mean, I don't ask if they do Girls like it. Yeah, I guess I'm more interested now in art than I was when I was actually at art college, because I was being told to be interested in who's your inspiration, who's this, who's that. I think now, because I can see it working for me, I'm looking a lot more. The scroll thing came together after the book was released. Basically the book came out about seven years ago and like this guy Rick had just travelled around England like interviewing different artists and stuff and we started getting work from it. Mainly me, Duncan and Steph, we kind of we started getting work so we just it was turned into an agency but we you know we're just sort of learning as we're going along with it we're not like um, it's kind of professional it's getting more and more professional. Loads of these ideas are kind of, they're kind of, 
furthered on from like projects I've done commercially. I'm always sort of returning to themes and like bringing them together and that's the cool thing. I think that's like the commercial thing really sort of, um, I think it really helps, you know, with like, it's meant that I've had to learn to draw loads of stuff that I never would have bothered, you know. If I had have never done commercial work, I'd, you know, just be drawing like monkeys and robots.